guys. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Jesse. Um, what up? I hope y'all Sunday is doing well. Mine's went great. Just got home from church and I am very, very hungry. So I decided that I would make me some ramen, my healthy ramen, and that I wanted to show you guys how I make it. Just you know, share a little recipe with you guys. Hopefully, you try it. If you do, um, let me know. Let me know if you like it. Um, if you changed anything, you know, hit me up on here or um, hit me up on my Facebook page, Jesse Baby 901. I usually check that every day. But let's get started. First, let's go over everything that you will need. You will need a pot with water. I used about two cups or two and a half cups of water. And what you want to do now is cut your eye on, cut your stove on to about medium high heat. And what you will need is butter. The butter is optional, but I see I have found that it makes the broth a little thicker. It just makes it taste better. Um, frozen veggies. I'm using the California medley. California medley. And I'm also using some sweet corn. I tend to use the Asian vegetables or any type of mixed vegetable, peas, whatever. Um, you will need some green onions. This thing is the last meal. Mixed garlic. ramen noodles yes so first step what we're gonna do is season our broth before we put anything in the water so I just added some butter into our water which is on medium high heat next you will take the packet out of the ramen and add it into the water now, if you are not a big fan of the packets that come with the um, ramen, you can always use um, the beef bouillon. I use this beef bouillon powder as well with my ramen. I'm going to add some salt. I think that's a lot, but this is a lot of broth. It's not that much. I'm using sea salt. Next, we're going to add our chili garlic paste. About two to three tablespoons, or as much need as you would like. We're going to use our minced garlic. I'm using about this much. Place that in. Basically, you're just seasoning your broth to your liking, to the liking that you want your ramen soup to be. And just one cup, capful, one capful of the apple cider vinegar. Don't need a lot. Then we're gonna add chili powder. I really like chili powder. Garlic powder. Now, like I said, I'm not really measuring anything. This is onion powder. You use it to your liking. This is basil. Basil leaves. You're basically, you don't have to use these seasonings, these herbs. I'm using what I like. This is parsley. 
I try this, let me know different variations this year. This is ginger. The ginger really is ginger powder. Every time you add some nice flavor. These are my broth. Okay, this is my broth. Okay, this is my broth. And this is the turmeric powder. I really like turmeric powder. Turmeric powder has so many good health benefits. Kills free radicals in your body from on your cells. Antibacterial, antifungal. It helps reduce swelling. It's just good overall. You guys should look up turmeric powder. I have a video on turmeric powder. Maybe I'll link it below. And if I forget to link it below, please let me know. Now, after you season your broth, you're going to add your ramen into the water. Along with your vegetables. As many vegetables as you like. is your soup. Just added in my sweet corn. Now I'm going to add in my California medley vegetables. And I really like those. Broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Put those into the water. Maybe another pot is our protein, our egg. Now what you want to do with this egg is make sure that you find you a space where nothing else will disturb your egg. Just kind of move the noodles and the vegetables to the side and just crack your egg right in. All you do is wait. Don't disturb it. You can crank your heat up a little if you like. But now all you have to do is wait on your egg and your noodles to get done. To my liking, it's time to now plate my ramen. Oh, this is hot. So, what you want to do? Basically, I have a bowl here. I'm just going to be careful with your eggs. Sprinkle on a few sesame seeds. Lunch. My ramen. This is so good, you guys. It is very healthy. Low in calories, low in fat. If you want it to be healthier, do not add the um, butter, the teaspoon of butter that I added, tablespoon, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't add that. And and you instead of using the egg, if you're not a big fan of egg, you can use a can of tuna. Chop you up some turkey, some ham if you eat pork. Whatever you want to put in there. Chicken. I've used leftover chicken before. Just whatever you, you like. 
I've added a can of tuna in it before. That was very good. I'm a big fan of tuna. I like tuna a lot. So I've used leftover salmon in my ramen before. It's, it's just whatever you like. Tailor it to your liking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because Jesse about to eat. So I holler at y'all later on.